And then, as he walked this earth as a man, he experienced the physical limitations that you experience. For instance, Jesus was tired. Well, we read in Luke chapter 4, John chapter 4 rather, that he went to meet the woman at the well and he was weary. When Jesus went on a journey, he would be tired like you would be when you went on a journey. He experienced physical thirst. We know when he hung on the cross, he said, I thirst. He experienced physical weakness. We know that when he carried his own cross, he fell beneath its weight because it was heavy. We know that he experienced anger as he drove the money changers out of the temple. It was righteous indignation, not a temper tantrum. Thankfully, God never has temper tantrums. Wouldn't that be scary? What would happen if God just lost his temper? Planets are flying around. No, no. no. <laughs> Jesus anger was always righteous. But he also felt sorrow as he stood at the tomb of Lazarus. You remember that the Bible says he wept. He wept even though he knew he would raise Lazarus again from the dead. But he wept because he saw that the sorrow and the misery that sin brought into the human race with death and all the pain that that will bring. And we also know that Jesus was tempted. We're told in Hebrews 4.15, this high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he faced all the same, temp same temptations we do, yet he did not sin. So let's come boldly to the throne of our gracious God, so we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Or as another translation puts it, we don't have a high priest who is out of touch with our reality. He's been through weakness and testing. He's experienced it all, but without the sin. So let's walk right up to him and get what he is ready to give. Take the mercy, accept the help. So Jesus knows what you're going through. 